You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. This week, I'm joined by Mitchell Jones, an alum of West Bloomfield High School and Michigan State as well. Mitchell works for StockX in Detroit, which sells sneakers and streetwear, and more recently, trading cards. And Mitchell, I understand you had a hand in that uh, trading card division, did you? Yeah, so as you mentioned, StockX, most people know for sneakers. We're also into streetwear, uh, luxury goods like handbags and watches. And more recently, we've gotten into uh, collectibles and under that, trading cards. So I uh, was actually the first person to be hired into a full-time role to work specifically on trading cards and was uh, part of our launch in trading cards back in October of uh, 2019. October 2019. And what were you doing at StockX before that? Uh, so I started off as an intern and had some various tasks. And then when I was hired on as a full-time employee, I was working uh, in influencer marketing. Uh, and then I transitioned over to trading cards. And have trading cards been some uh, passion of yours throughout your life? Is it something you've been interested in? Yeah, so basically since I was a little kid, I don't even know how old, but as long as I can remember, probably six years old, I've been collecting cards. Uh, and it's interesting because I didn't have my dad or anything or any older siblings that collected or any friends. I really sort of just got into the hobby myself and uh researched it myself and really got into it on my own. Well, there you go. That's very nice. Now, you start in the trading card division October of 2019. Fast forward a few months and COVID-19 hits. Everything shuts down. Uh, most things, most items, commodities experience a shortage, a supply issue, and of course, a demand issue as well. Uh, how did it go with trading cards? Yeah, so for trading cards, the pandemic was super interesting i mean for our business and StockX as a whole uh our it actually didn't affect us negatively at all um in fact the opposite it was really positive because uh people were at home and you know they weren't going out to eat going on vacations and some people getting stimulus checks they had a lot more disposable income so they were buying um stuff such as shoes and then trading cards really blew up because a lot of people during the pandemic started from a nostalgia play, rediscovering their old, old cards and, and getting back into it. So there became uh, issues with uh, supply initially because there were so many uh, more people into the hobby than previously were there, which skyrocketed the prices. But the industry in general just took a massive boom with all these people either coming back into the hobby, adults that had collected as a kid, or just new collectors uh, taking up something now. Yeah, that is that's pretty incredible. Uh, I haven't gotten back into trading cards myself, although I remember when I was seven years old being very into all the different Pokemon cards and such. I know there's a lot more than Pokemon, but that is about the reach of my knowledge. Do you have a favorite uh, bit of trading cards, a favorite brand or whatever? Um, so, yeah. So, like you said, like when I was younger, I was super into Pokemon cards. That's where I got my start. Um, but now I primarily focus on sports cards. I can't even seem to keep up with all these crazy Pokemon cards and other trading card games. But right now my favorite uh, types of cards are baseball cards. And specifically, I personally collect uh, cards of Boston Red Sox players. Very nice. Go Red Sox. Well, not really. Go Tigers, actually. Uh, you, you know, that that the story of, of hearing your business actually take a, a boom in this pandemic environment uh, due to the stay-at-home uh, lockdown orders is very interesting to me. Uh, was it easy to keep up with the demand? Because you said there was, you said there was a huge boom. Were there ever days where you had to turn people down and tell and delay their orders for weeks at a time, perhaps? Yeah. So certainly at the beginning, um, just with our trading card business being new, and you know we forecasted aggressively, but in the pandemic, it just exploded to a way we couldn't have predicted. And um, in terms of just processing our orders. Um, at the beginning, me and another guy who was on my team, we had a big hand in the operational side of the trading card business as we tried to scale it. And it got way out of hand really quick. And for a little bit, we weren't even able to go downtown. So we were actually processing hundreds of orders um, from a different location and starting to get behind because we tried to get every order in in 
uh, verify it and authenticate it and get it out to the customer the same day, uh, which became challenging as the order numbers just kept growing and growing and growing. And um, we had to play a little bit of catch up to sort of expand internally and bring in some new people to help uh, assist and uh, grow our trading card business to meet the demand of the consumers. So you had tough times there, uh, but now it's summer 2021. Uh, as you've no doubt heard, things are brightening up. Uh, what is your outlook on StockX's trading card division going forward? So, yeah, I mean, we obviously reached and exceeded all of our goals for 2020, which was super crazy considering, you know, a lot of companies went out of business or severely struggled. So for us to be able to achieve and exceed all our forecasts was super awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, now that we're sort of getting out of the pandemic, um, it's sort of come back to life a little bit and prices have sort of stabilized in, in the industry. But where the price is stabilized is still way above um, where they were pre-pandemic and there's still so many new consumers. Um, so we're super bullish on being able to take a big part of this market and also hopefully in the next couple of quarters, do some really innovative things in the trading card space. Well, Mitch, it sounds like business is booming. That's really good to hear. Thank you for being with us. That was West Bloomfield's own Mitchell Jones from StockX. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.